I was devastated. And it took me a lifetime to make up for that four years. It, I don't complain about it because it was the way it happened. And I think I picked up a phrase from the cowboys was, you work with the cards you're dealt. And I've always worked from that premise. I don't weep over spilt milk. I just accept it and do the best to work around it as I possibly can, you know. Luckily, I'm not a felled tree. You can't put them back up again, but a person can work on it. A person can work around problems, you know. So I've worked around them as best I could. Fortunately for me, I didn't have a true emotional bond. Hollywood was never to me like the wonderful childhood place where I had nostalgic memories. I had memories, but I don't have childhood memories. I think it's because I was never a child. Well, I've known Diana since about 2000, and she and I just got along right away. We celebrate her 99th birthday, her 100th birthday, her 101st birthday. My God, I could go on and on with the adventures. And when you knew uh, Diana, it was an adventure. <laughs> And also for, for an historian, she knew as much about other people as she did about herself. As she was very selfless in that way. I made her this um, myrtle wreath. The myrtle is a symbol of the establishment of God's promises. And to the Greeks and Romans, myrtle represented peace, love, tranquility, and courage, which are all fitting for Diana. She was a lifelong Democrat. We were able to get all kinds of uh, proclamations from the county, from the state. I was able to get Congressman Eric Swalwell to have a flag flown over the Capitol on her birthday. Unfortunately, it came late, so we, a whole bunch of us from the museum, went to her house and Justine and presented it to her. I am very, very honored to have met her. Lovely lady. I miss her every day. And we're thankful that we get to celebrate her forever here. I'm always grateful to have met her. She was an important person in my life. It was just a real pleasure to be with her. And she is very much missed. I really love Niles. Until I sat here and saw all of those films, I was impressed, you know. I say she was good. <laughs> you know, it was really amazing to see it and to realize that it wasn't a disgrace that I would die of embarrassment to see it. And uh, this has been a wonderful experience for me and, not, and the people that I know here is like my other family now.